OpenAI is cooking up something big, a brand new flagship AI model that could bring us closer than ever to artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This new model is supposed to be the next big thing after GPT-4. They haven't officially named it GPT-5, but everyone thinks that's what it will be, so let's go with that. All right, so in their latest blog post, OpenAI announced that they've started training this new top-of-the-line model to follow up on the impressive GPT-4. OpenAI is calling it the next level of capabilities, and they're saying it's a huge step towards their goal of building AGI. Although they didn't specify the exact new features GPT-5 will have, we can guess based on hints from Sam Altman and opinions from other experts in the field. Now, when it comes to predicting what GPT-5 will be capable of, we can look at how each major flagship model has gotten better and better since GPT-3.5, including GPT-4 and GPT-4.0. With each new model, there were upgrades like faster processing, longer context lengths, and the ability to handle different types of data. GPT 3.5 could only deal with text input and output. With GPT 4 Turbo, you could feed it text and images and it would spit out text. With GPT 4.0, you could give it a mix of text, audio, images, and video, and it would give you back text, audio, or images. Following that trend, the next step for GPT 5 would probably be the ability to output video. Back in February, OpenAI unveiled this text-to-video model called Sora, and it's likely that they'll fold that technology into GPT-5 so it can generate videos. Now let's be real, chatbots are impressive and all, but we've been seeing a growing demand for AI that can just figure out what you want done and do it with minimal instruction. That's what they call AGI. With AGI, you could just tell the AI agent what your end goal is, and it would be able to reason out what needs to be done, plan how to do it, and actually carry out the task. For example, in a perfect world where GPT-5 had AGI, you could just tell it, order a burger from McDonald's for me, and the AI would be able to open up the McDonald's website, input your order, put in your address and payment info, and handle the whole thing. All you'd have to worry about is chowing down on that burger. Now, as exciting as this is, OpenAI is also keenly aware of the risks that come with developing such advanced technology. To address these concerns, they've created a new safety and security committee. This committee will focus on developing policies and processes to ensure that the technology is used safely and responsibly. The committee includes key figures like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and board members Brett Taylor, Adam D'Angelo, and Nicole Seligman. And they aim to have these new safety policies in place by late summer or fall. However, OpenAI has encountered some bumps in the road. Recently, they faced some internal turmoil that made headlines. Back in November 2023, Sam Altman was unexpectedly fired by the OpenAI board. This was a huge shock because Altman had been leading the company through some of its most successful periods, including the launch of ChatGPT. So what exactly happened? Helen Toner, a former OpenAI board member, recently shed light on why the board decided to oust Altman. In an interview on the TED AI Show podcast, Toner explained that the board lost trust in Altman due to several issues. One major concern was that Altman failed to disclose his ownership of the OpenAI startup fund. Sam didn't inform the board that he owned the OpenAI startup fund, even though he you know, constantly was claiming to be an independent board member with no financial interest in the company. Additionally, there were multiple instances where he provided inaccurate information about the company's safety processes. On multiple occasions, he gave us inaccurate information about the small number of formal safety processes that the company did have in place. Toner also mentioned that Altman created a toxic atmosphere and engaged in manipulative behavior, which ultimately led to his dismissal. The problem was that after the paper came out, Sam started lying to other board members in order to try and push me off the board. There's more individual examples and Sam could always come up with some kind of like innocuous sounding explanation of why it wasn't a big deal or it misinterpreted or whatever, but and that's a completely unworkable place to be in as a board, especially a board that is supposed to be providing independent oversight over the company, not just like, you know, helping the CEO to to raise more money. Now the story didn't end there. After his firing, Altman quickly rallied support from OpenAI employees and investors, including Microsoft, which has a significant stake in OpenAI. Nearly all of OpenAI's staff threatened to leave unless Altman was reinstated, leading to a rapid reversal of the board's decision. Just four days after his firing, Altman was back as CEO and several board members resigned. This whole episode raised serious questions about the internal dynamics at OpenAI and how the company is managed. Toner's revelations highlighted a lack of transparency and accountability, which are crucial for a company that aims to develop AGI. 
Adding to the drama, two key figures from OpenAI's safety team, Ilya Sutskever and Jan Leik, recently left the company. They were leading OpenAI's super alignment team, which focused on ensuring that future AI models don't pose a threat to humanity. Both Sutskever and Like expressed concerns about OpenAI's priorities and commitment to safety. Like, in particular, mentioned that he had been disagreeing with the leadership for a while and felt that the company wasn't prioritizing safety as it should. Like has since joined Anthropic, an AI safety and research company founded by former OpenAI employees. Anthropic has been positioning itself as a leader in developing safer AI models and recently released its latest model, Claude 3, which some claim is the most powerful AI model currently available. Like said he joined Anthropic to continue the mission of ensuring that AI systems are safe and aligned with human values. This move has certainly added a new dimension to the competition between AI companies. So while OpenAI is pushing forward with its new model, they're also dealing with other challenges. For instance, there was a recent controversy involving Scarlett Johansson, who claimed that OpenAI's updated GPT-40 model used a voice that sounded eerily similar to hers without her permission. This highlights the ongoing issues around data usage and intellectual property in AI development. OpenAI denied using Johansson's voice, but the incident raised important questions about consent and ethics in AI. Additionally, OpenAI has faced legal issues, including a lawsuit from the New York Times over copyright infringement. The lawsuit alleges that OpenAI's models were trained using Times content without proper authorization, raising further questions about how AI companies use and manage data. This is part of a broader conversation about the ethical use of data in training AI models, which is becoming increasingly important as these technologies become more advanced and widespread. Now, in the midst of these controversies, OpenAI has also been criticized for its handling of employee departures. Leaked documents revealed that the company used aggressive tactics to force departing employees to sign restrictive exit agreements. These agreements included clauses that threatened to cancel vested equity if employees didn't comply. This approach caused significant distress among former employees and drew public criticism. The use of such high-pressure tactics seemed contrary to OpenAI's mission of benefiting humanity. OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman later apologized for these practices, stating that the company never intended to claw back anyone's vested equity and promised to make changes. The company has since removed non-disparagement clauses from its standard departure paperwork and is reaching out to former employees to release them from existing obligations. This move is seen as an attempt to rebuild trust and demonstrate a commitment to ethical practices within the company. Despite these challenges, OpenAI remains a key player in the AI field, and their new model could be a game changer. The company is pushing the boundaries of what AI can do, aiming to create a machine that can match human intelligence. But how OpenAI handles these recent challenges will shape the future of artificial intelligence and determine whether they can truly achieve their mission of benefiting all of humanity. All right, if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the latest in AI. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think OpenAI will achieve AGI? What are your concerns about these advancements? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.